if you're after a Queensland Island holiday but you don't have the time or the money to follow the crowds up north, well, the answer might be closer than you think. Morton Island is just a two hour barge ride from Brisbane. For camping and four wheel driving, this place is an uncrowded alternative to the more popular Fraser Island about 250 k's north of here. Ian Stewart from Oz Adventure Safaris has been coming to this local's hideaway for over 25 years and escorting tour groups here for around three. This would have to be Brisbane's best kept secret. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. And I'm a bit reluctant to tell too many people about it, so... Well, you've blown that one. <laughs> <laughs> After bouncing around the four-wheel drive for an hour or so, we headed up to Cape Morton for the views. This is the second largest sand island in the world after Fraser, with the bonus of the highest coastal sand mountain in the world, Mount Tempest. Next stop, the desert, a series of shifting dunes just waiting to be conquered. I've been snowboarding before, but I've never tried sandboarding, so if I'm a complete kook, you're not allowed to laugh at me, all right? <laughs> like that. <laughs> snowboarding and sandboarding. When you fall over, it hurts a lot more. You just sort of stop in the sand. And after feeling like a cinnamon donut that had been thrown down a mountain at over 60 k's an hour, this was as soothing as any massage. This is my sort of this is Okay, well this is yeah. coconut and oh, lemongrass right. and mango chicken. So, how does Morton shape up so far? Oh, it's been really good. It's been, uh, the best part has actually been getting out of the city for a few days. I've loved it. Yeah, I just, I'm from Brisbane and I can't get over that. It's so close to the city and yet you just feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. The sandboarding on the dunes, excellent. I mean, Back in England, obviously, we don't get a lot of uh, opportunity for sandboarding in there, and that was just out of this world. Hard work, but excellent fun. Well, that's the comfiest night's sleep I've had in that tent for a while. On this tour, everything is provided, from the tents right down to the sleeping bags and foam mattresses. Wetsuits aren't so much for the cold because it's actually really warm in the water, but you can cut yourself on the wrecks, so they're more protection than anything else. The Tangaluma wrecks were deliberately sunk to create a safe anchorage for visiting boats and yachts, and are now a refuge for subtropical fish. 